won't stop till I wear the crown Hi guys! Fancy seeing you here. Sorry about the lighting, but I just got off work and it's literally nighttime outside. But, hi! Oh my god, it's been like literally a year since I've seen you guys. Hello! If you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm Callie, it's nice to meet you. And if you've been here before, I am still Callie. And I'm glad to see you, oh my god. So I'm about to go meet up with my friend Tiffany at the grocery store and we're gonna pick up some last minute essentials because tomorrow we are going on a road trip to fucking Texas. I've never been to Texas before, Austin, Texas. I don't even know if I'm looking at the camera right now because it's dark in here and I can't see. Anyways, we're going to Texas tomorrow and we're driving, we're from Minnesota, we're driving 16 hours in one day. So we're getting up at like six in the morning. But the reason we're going to Texas is because we want to attend the last show of Adore Delano's Part of Your World tour. We went to, I think four of her Midwest shows and it was just such a good experience that we want to experience the last one. It was all very like impulsive, like, yeah, we're gonna just go to fucking Texas. So we're going to fucking Texas. So I'm gonna head over there now and meet up with her and I will see you. I'll see you next time I have something interesting to say. Good morning, friends. It's, uh, what day is it today? Um, Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> it is Thursday. Didn't vlog last night or this morning because it's literally like 7.48. 7, 7, 7 something fucking 48 <laughs> in the morning. And we got up at like 5 and was not in the mood to film. But we got some Starbucks. This is like my second Starbucks drink ever. So I'm gonna taste and it's, it. Oh yeah, it's a... It's a Doors drink. It's a Doors drink. <laughs> Please, what the fuck is it? <laughs> oh, there's so many back there. I thought they hung no, up no. themselves. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna taste this now. Okay, that's not bad. Good. That's not bad. Very sweet, I think. Oh, really? I think so. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know. Get, get. Anyways, how's yours? Good. Good. What'd you get? Um, I got the uh, brown sugar shake and express. All right, well, we're gonna continue on our little road trip because we still have like 15 something hours to go. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Every move is on the page, but I didn't like their way. I had to fight and misbehave. Guess what guys, we're in fucking Kansas, but we missed the sign because it's really small, but can you tell we're in fucking Kansas because there's nothing here! So guys, we are at Subway. Subway. <laughs> and I already ate my sandwich, but Tiffany has not finished her sandwich. So I'm showing you her sandwich, that's all. To you when we get to um, wherever we're going next. <laughs> In a daydream, I be in my mind up there almost daily. It's how I pass time, no opinions safely. It's how I understand what I want in this place. See, cause everybody wanna tell you bad things. What could go wrong? What fame brings, but success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. Hello from Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> are we in Oklahoma? Did we cross? Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, duh. You I said the literally said the fucking. Okay, <laughs> we are in Oklahoma. And how long do we have left? We have like 8,000 um, more hours. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, probably like. I would guess like six, Se hours, six, seven? six or seven more hours of driving. And we're at the gas station, mm -hmm. we just got gas. We are wearing our Adore hats because they're really cool and we're really cool. I have to drive for, for 17,000 more years. Yeah. Hey guys, so we are at our hotel that we stayed at last night. We had a whole fucking experience. There will be a story time coming soon about our experience last night, but this is our hotel. It's cute. I almost just fell over. Um, we just kind of like put our fucking going to get food outfits on and then we're gonna go to get food. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Hello. Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh. So we haven't um, filmed, vlogged your mom's house in about like a long time because we have a story time. So we get to the hotel at like two in the morning. No, one in the morning, yep. something like that last night. And this place was like crackhead land. Like it looked like people probably get sex trafficked from there. So we fucking go to the lobby to check in. And this place is sketchy, it's sketchy, sketchy. And we check in and then we go up the elevator and then we're like- The sketchy elevator? The sketchy that elevator. barely moved up. I thought we were gonna die. Get stuck. Dude, when we came, when we were checking out, there was literally a note on the one elevator that's like, please use other elevator. And it was the one that we had used. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> we could have died. Kidding. We literally could have died. died last night. So we find our room. It's so fucking gross. Like it's dirty. There's stains on the pillow. It smells. We're like, yeah, we're not gonna stay here because this is disgusting. And then, yeah. so we're like freaking out because we're like, we can't stay here. So we're like panicking, trying to find a new hotel. We like went downstairs, yep. put our shit in the car, pulled the car Pant. out, <laughs> and then went into to the front desk and we were like, yeah, we don't feel safe here. Kelly went off. I did. There was literal crack, like, no offense. There was literal crackheads. They were just like, like outside. Doing weird things. Like people clearly under the influence of several illegal substances. Yeah. And we were just like, uh, And yeah. then the worst came as we were after it's... that little debacle. Yeah, so we were getting our refund. And then this man comes in and he's like, hey, do either of you ladies got a lighter to light my cigarette? And we're like, no. And then I dead ass thought we were going to die. In that yeah. moment, I thought he was going to kill us. Probably just being dramatic, but like, yeah. holy shit. Anyways, so we get our money back. And then we fucking drive around looking for a new hotel, trying to find one that didn't look shady. And the everywhere time, we went, everywhere we went, there was like, party. Party. <laughs> party, 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 party. Partiers everywhere. So we were like, okay, well, we're not gonna stay over here. So we're like freaking out, looking, looking, looking for a hotel. We finally found a hotel. Um, it's not the greatest, but we're here. And it's and, in a safe area. And it's in a safer safe area. area, yes. So anyways, that's why we have it vlogged. We literally yeah. got here at like two in the morning and checked in and then barely slept yep. again and now we're doing our makeup in a hurry because we have to be back at the venue be back at the venue we are ready for a door roscoe's 2022 look of a door fuck yeah here's what callie's got on oh <laughs> okay and here's what callie's got on i don't really know this is from shein these are from amazon my face is from my mom. And um, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And my neo necklace from a door, of course. <laughs> I'm so fucking hard. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. We love stepping outside and it's actually warm outside, unlike in Minnesota. We are going over by the venue right now and I was just tripped. See you there. Okay, so we made it to the venue and there's literally it's, it's around the corner though yeah but we're like we're hiding, hiding because there's first of all literally nobody here and we don't want anyone to see us because we're trying to make this be a surprise that we're here help hello my child <laughs> how are you i'm good so literally our whole plan for this trip was to surprise Adore. Like we did not tell anybody that we were going to Texas and we were going out of our way outside of the venue to hide from her when she walked in. So it would be a surprise when we saw each other in the meet and greet. And then she was like, I had a feeling y'all were coming out. You were to jam and all the clear. Show me special. So the surprise aspect was definitely a fail, but we're just going to pretend it wasn't. This is our apology video. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we just got back from <laughs> this show. The last show of it's the fucking over. party your world <laughs> tour. Okay, no, seriously, go see Adore Delano perform. Yes. 
not on this tour because it's over now but um <laughs> next time next time she goes on tour or any time that she is performing in a venue near you highly recommend going that bitch is literally fucking magical she will literally like rock the fuck out of that stage so like you need to fucking go you need to fucking go why aren't you going i can't believe it's over that was like this has seriously been the most like magical incredible experience just seeing her live out her dreams and then like on our side of it just like getting to be in an environment where we feel safe yes. and comfortable and it's like you're around other weirdo weird little weirdos who are just like you when you're at her shows and it's so fucking comforting and nice mm -hmm. and the door is so kind and the band is so kind yeah. and everybody is so fucking kind so <laughs> and go out of your comfort zone and yes. travel to a bunch of different places yes. when you literally have never done it before yeah. because it's worth it. It is so worth it. New experiences with new people and it's just, you yeah, know, just step out of your comfort zone. Say yes to things that you would be Step out of your comfort zone and say yes to things that you would normally say yes to because mm -hmm. it will lead to the most amazing mate, brother, I can't <laughs> fucking speak. The most amazing experiences that you will mm -hmm. ever have and take time to spend time with your favorite people because yes. it is so worth it. And yeah, I had a conclusion that I was gonna come to and it was gonna be really beautiful. Party. Party. <laughs> <laughs> Adore, if you ever stumble across this video, thank you so much for literally everything. Yes. You are a fucking star. We love you so, we so much. We love you so much. Being on that stage, that is where you were meant to fucking be. And it was so beautiful to get to see you. Even at the shows that we weren't even in yes. attendance for, <laughs> just seeing you live out your dreams was absolutely amazing, and we love you so much. So, so proud of you. Love you. Love you. Good morning. It's Saturday, and we're going to go exploring mm -hmm. in Austin, Texas today. Just getting ready. That's about it. <laughs> That much has come in. That's it. Good, good morning. Hope you have a good morning. <laughs> so we just pulled up to the Museum of the Weird, mm -hmm. my home. And it's we're like about to get super weird. It's about to get <laughs> fucking weird, bro. <laughs> and we're gonna go see the museum and I'll show you when we're in there. Hey, I don't know if you guys know. I'm just gonna narrate our little walk through the Museum of the Weird. So what you just saw was the gift shop and that's right when you walk in the door and then you walk into this little room with all these little creatures. And some of it is movie props, some of it is like random things that they found with random stories. And then you go up these stairs and there's the freak show where I belong. And then we went in this big creaky door into the wax museum area. Sorry, I just had to shut up for a second so y'all could really appreciate that creaky door. And then you walk forward into this room where you can take pictures with King Kong and he's holding you in his hand. And then we went to this cute little rock and roll shop that was across the street, but I didn't vlog in there because I didn't want to get kicked out. And then we went to the gay shop, the little gay shop, and they had lots of cute little merch and things. And then we went to this huge ass rich people mall thing and I'm gonna let past me take over from here. Check. <laughs> <laughs> we're exploring so we're at this like big shopping center thing with like a bunch of fucking stores and we're trying to find some weird shit and everything is like fancy why is everything fancy yeah so now we're gonna go to the gucci store just to say we've been in a fucking gucci store yeah Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is everything so fancy? <laughs> I've literally never felt so out of place in my life because everything in here is worth more than my entire existence. Hey guys, narrating again because I don't want to find background music, but after that we went to the Museum of Ice Cream and it was really pink and pretty. Got our first ice cream. <laughs> what kind is it? Coke or not? Um, you guys have a question? Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Yeah. With fucking coconut milk because we're lactose and toddler ants in this house. I love eating ice cream. Okay. I don't know what I Oh my god. My hair. Ooh. Normal. Oh my god. Second ice cream is uh, Oreo cheesecake.
floor. We got our third ice cream. Yep. I got the cinnamon bun. I also got half of that. Okay. Oh, what, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. That one's the best. And I also so got good. cotton candy. That's really freaking good. Oh my god. And then we went to Winter Spaces and all I got was this two second clip. And then we went in this room that's very, very twinkle, twinkle, little star vibes. Look at those lights. They're so pretty. And then I started walking around in them and acting like I was in some kind of a Disney movie and spinning and almost fell over. Not the lights turning off as I was trying to film my video. That <laughs> was so rude. Into the vagina. Whoa. It's literally plastic bags. And then we saw this thing called the ARC. There's an epilepsy warning. I don't know if it's going to affect anybody over the video, but in real life, this is definitely very light flashy. But this thing was making this sound that just made me want to like stay in there forever. And I don't know if it was trying to hypnotize me or something, but that shit was really cool. This thing was so trippy. It was literally just strings going up and down from the ceiling, but when you get close to it, it looks like TV static and it like trips out your brain. I feel like my brain's vibrating looking at this. I wish I could remember what this little exhibit was called, but this was probably my favorite part of the entire thing. They're just like posing in front of it. It's so freaking pretty. And I was like, wow, look at me, I'm a bird. No, I was literally thinking. <laughs> This part was also one of my favorite things. That black on the screen flashing was not the lighting. I don't know why, but these weird, like, the trippiness of it, like, made our cameras glitch out. But, like, look at that. That is so cool. Just look at this one. Take me away! So now we're going to, um, we're getting a cool drink, right? Yes, and a rooftop and a, bar and called Zanzibar. Yeah. Non-alcoholic though, yes, because <laughs> we don't do that here. Dude, this is so fancy for what? change of plans we had to come to a different bar place because the other one was closed so now we're on this rooftop but we got some non-alcoholic yep, beverages and i don't know what is it i forgot what you said it's well whatever this is menu. we got some of these things so all right let's we're gonna try, try them i like it it's all right yeah Not it bad. reminds me of something but i don't know what so we have been out and about all day I hope it's not too, I hope the music's not too loud. Um, we've just been doing things all damn day and we came from a, from this like art exhibit place called Wonder Spaces before this. We got in our feelings. And we got in our feelings because they had this little like wall thing where people could write notes of like things that they wish they would have said or like a message to somebody or whatever. And you would take a piece of paper and like write your little thing down and put it back in the wall and then you could read other people's little notes. I cried a little. <laughs> cried a little in there. Was not expecting that from a freaking art exhibit. Now we're just sitting here pretending that we're not. I don't know what I was gonna say. Um, I was gonna say pretending that we're not 12. No, we're sitting here pretending that we're rich on this rooftop. Right? That's super beautiful home. with all these rich people. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna just sit here at the fancy ass um, Marriott Hotel. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna drink these. Yep. Ready? And then we're gonna we're gonna go get some food at, at the beer plant. Speaker. Yeah, we're going to a vegan restaurant, mm -hmm. and I will try <laughs> to be cool. vegan for a day. That just spread everywhere. I'm gonna everywhere. turn Callie into a vegetarian. Oh god, no! I love chicken too much. I don't think I could. Well, <laughs> hi. So it's hella loud in here, but we're at a vegan restaurant. I don't know what it's called. It's called the Beer Plant. That's it. And we got cauliflower. <laughs> 
Yes, cauliflower wings. And we're going to try them. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got our... We got the same thing. <laughs> it's, uh... Eggplant, um... Eggplant parmesan, I believe. Struggle in. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, just got my nose ring. <laughs> ring <laughs> changed from a stud to a. Oh, well, no, no, you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? You said you changed your nose ring. You had a, a stud. That... Wait, what? I got my nose ring changed. You had, from but a, it was a stud. From a stud to, to a, a ring. Yes. <laughs> okay. This okay. Thing right here. Mm -hmm. I had the biggest bump though, because the stud was like hiding how fucking big it was, but it's, yeah, it's fine. I'll survive. The pierce just said I'll survive, so yes. I think I'll survive. But oh my god, I have a fucking hoop now. This is literally my dreams. And now we're twinning. And we are twinning. Look at us. Okay, this is so exciting. This is literally why I got my nose pierced. I've been waiting like four and a half fucking months to change it. Hold on. Okay, so excited. Anyways, we've had a long fucking day. We've done so many yes. things today. We're gonna lock the doors. Hey, Austin, Texas is fucking awesome. Like, it really is fucking awesome here. We've had a wonderful day. We're heading home tomorrow. Back and, to hell. I know, I don't I know. Mean, I Minnesota. Home. Literally. <laughs> Bye, I'm guys. done. Bye, guys. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We're heading home today. Just packing up all our shit. Depressing as fuck. Literally, we have to go back to Minnesota where it's fucking freezing outside. We're sporting the Adora Delano merch, of course, as we should. I don't want to go home. I literally don't ever <laughs> want to go home. Everything about this experience has been like fucking, amazing. fucking the best one. Best, the best one. <laughs> Just the best one. Just the best one. Honestly. One of the best of my life. Same. Literally, like, the last trip Mom, and this trip yeah. have been, like, Combined. literally the best experience of my entire life. Like, ever. Like, literally ever. Now we have to drive for 16 hours yeah. and reflect on everything. Mm-hmm. So, if you need us, we will be crying for the next yep. 16 hours. But we have one last good stop. Yes, yeah, so we have to go to Bucky's. Yeah. The fucking gas station, because what is Texas without that, apparently? Yes. Didn't know it existed until like two days ago, but yep. we have to go, and we have to go buy some merch. Okay, but why the fuck is this place like a literal grocery store? <laughs> there, I've never seen so many gas pumps in my entire life. Like, what the hell is this? Got my little stuffed animal. There's so much shit in this fucking place. Do it. Bucky's haul. Right. We got this is a door's fault, but we yep. got the fucking both got them. t shirts. And I got and this little them. guy. Such a little cutie. Oh my god, wait, you got one too. Yes, I did. Yes. <laughs> and then we literally and got like the same thing. I got a fucking blanket. And then we got banana pudding. Wherever this is so sticky. Struggling. Fuck, I need a napkin. Hold on. Oh. oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna head out again because yes. we still have like fucking. I don't know if we've even drove for an hour yet. I totally haven't tasted this yet. Me either. This is our first time yep. trying first this. First bite, guys. Yeah. Mmm, mm, that's so good. On. I've never tasted wow. anything, anything like that in my life. I've never had a bite of this ever before. Wow. Oh my god, that is actually so fucking good. Any unbearable hours later. Update, guys. It's currently, what time? 2.05 in the morning. 2.05 in the morning, and we're like an hour-ish away from home. And we're half dead. And we're, <laughs> we're dead inside. We are currently in South Dakota, and there's snow all over the fucking ground. And we needed gas, because I was almost out of fucking gas, so we go to this town called Brandon. Fuck you, Brandon, South Dakota. Brandon. Fuck that guy. Because they're gas stations. 
We went to like three different gas stations yep. and they're like, one of them, the fucking pumps weren't on. And then the next one it wasn't- said no dispense or something. Like yeah, you, you can't dispense gas at your fucking gas station. Why are you called a fucking gas station then? <laughs> then we go to the third one. And then you can't pay at the fucking yeah, pump. There was literally nothing. So I could have just stole the gas, but I'm a good person, so I didn't do that. So then we went to another fucking gas station, and finally we found that one. Blah, 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 blah. Finally we found that one. <laughs> finally we found one that was open, so now I got gas. Hi guys, I'm from the future. So I'm editing the video right now, and that what you just saw was literally the last thing that we filmed of that whole trip, because we were so tired and we were so over it. But I don't want to leave it on that note. I just wanted to pop in here and say thank you so much for watching. And I know this was kind of a long video for my first video back, but if you stuck around for the whole thing, thank you so much. It really does mean more to me than you know. And I can't wait to continue making these stupid and fun videos for you guys. This whole trip thing that we went on got me feeling inspired. So hopefully, hopefully I'm going to stick to it this time. Um, but I think that's about it. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.